Hello there. This is gonna be general love reading for all signs. I have been very, very, very busy with doing personal readings and catching up there. So I have not had as much time as I would have liked to be able to hop here on YouTube, guys. So I have missed y'all. I have. I've just been super busy. So here we go. I'm feeling a very c'est la vie vibe, right? It is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. I want to remind all of you that are waiting for your pre-orders to come in, whether it's a candle, a bracelet, um, and a deck that you pre-ordered for the first pre-orders. Um, those are all going to be going out by the end of this month, October. Those of you that pre-ordered my, my oracles, the last pre-order that we just did, that hasn't come in yet. So I would like to be able to get it all out. So please, thank you so much for your patience. You've let go and just be, and that's what I felt. C'est la vie. It is what it is, right? Ebb and flow. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. But no matter what, you are always surrounded with the energy of luck. Mm. Auspiciousness. It feels like for some of you, October shifts into more alignment. And is it luck or alignment? Well, bitch, it's one and the same, actually. And that's what, and that's what we believe, right? Can some people just be destined for luck? Yeah, sure. But the more we align, the more we seem to find ourselves in this type of an energy. Some people manifest it via law of attraction. And some people just align. What does alignment mean? It means that you're not forcing. It means that you're in the flow. You ebb and you flow. Honey, it's highs and lows, ups and downs, happiness and sorrow. Right? That's the whole point. Some of you here may have in the past tried to control the ride a little too much. And you're feeling this freedom and this sense of like release, just like in, in nature, in October, the leaves start to change and they transform and the leaves fall away and there's a release and it's natural and it's organic, right? Nature shows us how beautiful it is to let the dead leaves fall. And it really is like a delicious energy that comes through. All right, here we go. Let's get right into the tarot. The Queen of Cups, this bitch is ready. Why is this bitch ready? Because she has her own cup that she pours into. She has a cup and she's very, very, very cautious about who she lets around her and who she pours into. Because if you just constantly pour into people that don't pour back to you, your cup will be empty. So this is a bitch who has an overflowing cup because she fucking fills her own cup. But what is the Queen of Cups? She's open and she's receptive. Open to new beginnings, the Fool. Open to something very spontaneous. The Fool is about sort of leaning into the unknown. Fool can take leaps of faith. Some of you are ready to take a leap of faith romantically. In love, and also in business opportunities. She says, I'm ready to get back out there. I'm ready to get back on this motherfucking horse, honey. Taking a leap of faith. Three of Wands, see that ship coming in? Look at the ship. See that fucker right there? Your ships is coming in, bitch. Well, of course it is. You sat there like this and said, shit, all this stuff coming in, I don't like it. It's not for me. It doesn't interest me. I don't like those job opportunities. I don't like this. I don't like the people I'm meeting. It's not it. I don't like any of it. Bitch, there's a ship coming in. I have a feeling it's going to fucking, it's going to leave you shooketh. I got a feeling, honey. This ship coming in. I got a feeling. The fuck is that? Seven of Swords. Ace of Pentacles, 
See how the gate's open right there? See like that? There's a big pentacle right there too. It's like a big offer. The gates open up. Something comes and it's like this big, huge thing. When the when the when the ship arrives, huh? Woo, child. This seven of swords here is some sort of like sneaky deception, kind of an energy. But I I feel what the sneakiness is is, mm, this may come in the form of something you don't expect. Per usual. I mean, what's the saying? It comes when you least expect it. Right? It's it's never what we expect it to be because it's even better. It's even better than our fucking muggle minds can comprehend and imagine and fantasize and dream. Something so fucking huge and amazingly wonderful is going to arrive. And you're going to go, I didn't ask for that. And spirit and universe is going to say, oh, we know. That's why we're giving it to you. Could be something also hidden in plain sight. Six of Pentacles, you definitely are getting something here. Remember we talked about pouring into cups that don't pour back. You're getting something here that's, it's, it's something you deserve. You're getting what you give. All those times you poured and you never got back. All those times your heart was broken because you loved on somebody and they didn't love back on you. It's like you're getting back what you deserve. This is Libra season, even though it feels like Scorpio season already. Every year. Once we start hitting like that second week of Libra season, honey, it's Scorpio season already because that scorpionic shadow just... Whoosh. So yes, it's technically Libra season right now, but honey, it's scorpionic already. Libra season is about balance. Libra season is about checks and balances, right? It's about figuring out where in our life we've been off balance. And sometimes it needs to be off balance. It's ebb and flow. Ebb and flow is up and down. It comes and then it recedes. Money? Are things evening out for you now? Are they not so extreme highs and fucking really tiny lows? Like, is it becoming more balanced? Are you becoming more balanced with your emotions, with your focus? Something's coming in and it's you don't expect it. It's not what you thought. Seven of Cups. Somebody here is really sitting there going, this is not what I fucking wanted. And so now I'm assuming it's not coming because everything that has come so far, I don't fucking like it. Right, it's about, we, and we know this, we meet people and we get these high hopes and then we're disappointed. And after a while, it kind of weighs on you. It's human nature. After a while, you're gonna be like, wow, so fuck me, huh, universe? But it's not really fuck you. The world, big, 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 big completion and closure. Somebody here got big completion or closure on a friendship, relationship, a job situation. A big thing is over. Now it, it has there's all this open space now for, for fucking this. Oh thought we weren't, huh? You fucking thought we weren't, huh? You know we're gonna use this crimson secret. Spirit, tell us what the fuck, please. What can we no in melancholy? You thought it wasn't gonna come. You thought you were left out. You thought the time has passed. You thought, well, maybe it's not gonna be so great like you thought so. Well, maybe it's too late. Maybe maybe I'm too old to do this. I can't, I'm not gonna make it big. I, I, I'm past my prime. Bitch, who told you that? If you tell you that, it's done. Who the fuck told you it's over? Who said you're too old? Who said love will never come? You can claim those things and believe it, and then that will happen. Because when beautiful things walk right in front of you, you won't even recognize it because you're so in a state of this. Now, is it normal for us to sometimes feel sad? Yeah. Scorpio season comes, bitch. We all gonna be in our feels. Because it's that kind of an energy. Intense. Deep. Emotional dark there's a delicious
new beginning that's coming. Taboo. Thought you weren't going to get it. Said I, it's off limits. I, I can't get that. It's impossible. It will never come. It will never happen. Missy, I'm telling you, it won't come. Okay, keep telling yourself that, bitch. Then it won't. Something you thought wasn't going to happen, happens. Something that you thought was off limits becomes an option. Self-sabotage. That's what the fuck. That's, th that's self-sabotage. Well, doubt. Allowing fear to creep in. This, you got to get the fuck rid of. This will come. And when it comes, we must tell it goodbye. Come away with me and divine masculine. Bitch, here he comes. There's that ship coming in. A divine masculine, anything that we call divine means light. It means higher ascended. It means crack the fuck open. This is someone who doesn't come in and play games. This is someone who's ready. Someone who's emotionally mature. Someone who is has common decency and common courtesy. Someone who is serious about their time. They don't want their time wasted, so they're not going to waste nobody else's. I don't think they were expecting you. I don't think you were expecting them either. I don't think you were expecting each other. They weren't expecting you. They weren't expecting what they would feel. They weren't expecting that when you walked away or when you walked by them in the room or when whatever, they didn't expect to be still curious and hooked. They weren't expecting that. They weren't expecting this feeling that they feel, this magnetic pull, this draw. They weren't expecting it. Past life, I mean, and sexual encounter. Where do I begin? Why would the pull be so tr tremendous and so fucking dramatic? And oh, because it's not your first fucking rodeo, and the more cracked open we are, the more we're going to be in touch with that. The more we're in touch with source, the more we're in touch with who we are and who we used to be. This is someone. It's like instant soul recognition. It's like an instant bond that may not play out in the 3D immediately. Meaning you see a fucker in the grocery store and you feel this immediate like kinship with them and you don't even speak, but it's immediate. Sets the ball in motion. Oh, they've met. Like all the alarms go off in every dimension, every timeline. They fucking cross paths. Finally in the 3D. That ship comes in and it's symbolic of an arrival of something in the 3D, not in the 5D. Well, we're in love in the 5D and we're together and this is good. Bitch, what about this life? Fuck I'm supposed to do with that up there. You can't live in delusion. Can't say, well, because they're my person in, 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 in heaven. Bitch, we're here. Living this human experience in this muggle meat suit. As above, so below, yes. But if it's as above and not here, what the fuck are you going to do with it? There's a separation. There's a, there's a discord. Sometimes we feel a connection to a person that we have a past life with and we're not meant to be with them in this life. It's just sometimes that's the case, but there's a reason why it's so fucking... It's, 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 you're stuck. It's intense. The soul doesn't know. They don't know we're not supposed to be together in this life. They're just going, I know you, I know you, I know you. That can be really difficult to discern sometimes. But if you consider yourself awakened, higher consciousness, I'm a divine feminine, I'm a divine masculine, then you would fucking be able to know the difference. Because it's action, isn't it? It's free will. If they're not putting action into a connection, then obviously what are you supposed to fucking do with that? Sexual encounter comes out nonstop. Why? Because it's erotic. 
and it's very sexy and there is this like um, activation from head to toe when these two are in the vicinity of each other physically you won't be able to keep your hands off of each other you can't believe you're so attracted to them why am i so attracted to this person remember you weren't expecting them they weren't expecting you were you expecting the ships to come in yes but honey, I got a feeling the things you were asking for and the things you thought it was and who and what and when and where ain't it. Because, I mean, the universe just knows better than us. Does that mean we're going to do an extended with the erotic cards? Hell yeah. Hell yes. And for those of you that don't like it that I do it like that, I don't give a fuck. It's my channel. So this, this extended will be on my website in the special love oracle reading section where you guys can rent it because I cannot use erotic cards, none of us can, anymore on YouTube. They'll flag it, they'll fuck with our monetization, and I'm a YouTuber. This is my job. Had that not come out, I wouldn't have. I would have put it on Patreon. Doesn't mean I don't post on Patreon anymore. I'm actually doing, you know, double. For those that always got to complain about shit, start your own channel and put your shit on Patreon for you. <laughs> Obsession and a love offer. <sighs> it may not come across as, obsess as obsessive at first because I have a feeling it's a little more sly. This would be... Mm, someone very 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 sly if he's divine oh that means he has become aware of his gifts and his strengths this fucker's got some tricks up his sleeve and not in a malicious low vibrational way but in a way of he has extreme fucking patience yes he does Yes, she does, whoever your divine masculine is, male or female, it doesn't matter about the gender, it's the energy. They come across as very cool, calm, and collected. It's not what it seems at first. Remember how when um, Christian Grey was obsessed with her from the moment she walked into his office? Have you guys ever read that version? Um, I don't know if, it an, if it's an underground bird. No, I think she actually, I think the author who wrote Fifty Shades actually wrote that version. Remember, it's Christian Gray's version of, of the events. Or was it an underground version that I read? No, I'm pretty positive it's, it's a published one from the author. But in any case, the perspective from him was he was obsessed from the fucking moment she walked in. He didn't know that, that's not his type typically. It's kind of goofy she's a little bit you know awkward but you know there's, there was a draw it was magnetic it was soul connection but he didn't lead but he didn't show that immediately tried to tried to hide it tried to pretend it didn't exist but it overtook him you guys were not expecting each other i tell you right fucking now no the hell you weren't affection they cannot believe the way they feel about you and this situation they can't get over it they can't believe it it leaves them shooketh travel there's something about travel and head over heels do you meet traveling i don't fucking know could be a zillion different things Head over heels is obvious. The travel thing has been coming up non-fucking-stop. There's something about traveling that's going to be connected to this somehow. And yeah, just to confirm that delicious sexual energy of mouth-watering. Let's get into this extended. Again, if you don't like those kind of messages or those types of beautiful erotic cards, don't rent the extended. For those of you that like that shit like I do... Click below this video, the word more brings up all my links. That first one to go to my website, saltwaterhillstower.com, special love slash oracle reading section, and you're going to go ahead and find it there to rent it, all right? And I will be, now that I can clear out all the personal readings that I have had to do, and I'm still not finished yet, so don't panic if you didn't get yours yet, 
Um, I'm, I'm, I'm busy, as we all are, right? So thank you again for your patience. I will see you guys in the extended. Thank you for all of your likes, your shares, your subscriptions here on YouTube. Did I say that already? I don't think I did. All right, I'll see you there. Love you, bye.